At this point, we've got a, a website. It's got a static home page. Um, if you notice on the on the home page, we've got what we wrote there, and then we've got leave a reply. Well, the default behavior of WordPress is to let people comment on your site, and that is useful to create a community to get people to come back to your site to get them to engage. There's some value to that in SEO because it shows the search engines this is an active site. It's not just a dead site. It's active. People comment. People come back. But it doesn't make sense to have leave a reply on the home page. No one ever does that. You don't really see that. You leave a reply on an article. You leave a reply on a blog post. Not on the home page, really. You could if you want to. But um, over on the, on the about page, it doesn't have the ability to do that. It's just about content. Uh, I believe on one of the days of last month we talked about that, how to remove that ability, and we'll, we'll bring it up again because the default is that WordPress will allow anyone to write a comment on any of your pages, even if it doesn't make sense. I only want people to leave comments on the blog. I didn't want to comments on the about page, on the shop page, on the home page. So to remind ourselves how to deactivate that on a case-by-case -case basis, we no longer need comments on the home page. Let's go back to the dashboard. We can do this a couple ways. We'll go back to the dashboard. We'll go look at pages. Just click on pages. These are the pages we have so far, about us page, blog, sample, and home page, which I've titled something else. And it's set, set as the front page, it's set at the post page. So here's where we can manage these. And I want to turn off the ability for people to comment on the home page. There's a quick way to do it right here. If you hover over the home page, you can edit, quick edit, trash, and view. Click quick edit. And there's a button right there, allow comments, yes or no. I will turn off turn that off for the home page. I don't want people to comment on the home page. <clears throat> you may want to, that's fine. But you usually don't see a website's home page where you can comment. You comment on the articles. When you change that, you want to click update. And if you visit site, it's just a home page. No more. Leave a reply. So that quick edit it has one way there for you to quickly uh, make a few changes, like comments and such. And here's where we would get a list of all of our pages, not our blog posts, because that's over on the posts screen, isn't it? Posts and pages are different. Let's say I no longer want the sample page. It's served its purpose. What do we do with it? Trash. trash. So if you hover your mouse over sample, you can select trash. And it removes it. Actually, it still keeps it in your WordPress account, in your WordPress site. It leaves it under the trash screen. So it's still there. It's still taking up space. It's just that no one can reach it. It's been trashed. Just like on your computer here, if you deleted something, it's going to go to the recycle bin, where you can bring it back. But if you're on the Mac, it's going to go to the, to the trash can. You can still bring it back. Unless, of course, here I empty my, my recycle bin, then it's gone. Here on WordPress, uh, the trash has something in it. I can bring it back if I want to. So I, if I click trash, it's like you've got one item in the trash, the sample page. And if you hover over it, you can restore it to bring it back or delete it permanently. Then it's really gone. I'm not sure if there's an auto-delete. I'm not sure if WordPress after a certain time automatically removes things. 
I have to look that up. But usually, uh, if something's in the trash, you're gonna if you delete something on accident, you're probably gonna bring it back right away on accident. Or if you deleted it, you wanted to delete it, so it doesn't matter if it goes away by itself or it or it doesn't. But if you really want to get rid of it, you have to then delete permanently. There's no warning; it just does it, and then it's gone. So I was just showing that you can further edit these pages and change their title, which can be different than their permalinks, reminding you that by default WordPress will let you add a comment, let users add a comment to every page or post, unless you unless you deactivate that. Any questions so far? Yes. Yes, what you could do is you can go over to settings and uh, discussion. And here it is, right there, the third option allow people to post comments on new articles. If you turn that off, then it's the opposite. No one will be able to comment on anything new you create. Then you have to turn it on yourself. Settings and then discussion. Now the downside of this is unless you remember to activate comments, you will have no comments. So it's sort of a catch-22, which do you do or which comes first? Because if you turn this off, it's useful because then you're, when you're building your about page, you don't have to worry about it. When you're building your home page, you don't have to worry about it. When you're building all of these static pages that don't need comments, this works great. But if you're going to engage in blogging, you're going to need to turn on that commenting feature for every blog post or turn this back on and if you forget to do that you're going to think why am I not getting any traffic on my site why is no one commenting on my site oh I turned it off a month ago that's why I'm not getting any comments so it's up to you to decide which will work better for you personally for me I leave it on because I don't want to forget to let people comment on my blog posts and then I have to manually go and turn it off for the home page the about page the shop page Yes, that's annoying, but then you just do it once and it's done. Everything else I'm going to add to my site eventually are just going to be blog posts, and I want people to comment on those. So that goes back to our tips here. Question? Let me get to that one moment. Adding comments to your site is useful for SEO. A lot of these things regarding SEO are, are not set in stone or not uh, <coughs> blatantly obvious how much of this, how little of that. These are trade secrets. But it is useful to have comments on your site because that could tr give you more traffic. Uh, the search engines look at so many aspects of your site. And the question was, this proudly powered by WordPress, I don't like it, I want to remove it. That's a little advance that we'll get to probably in one or two days later that will require for us to edit the code of our site. Because our theme has a certain design. And this theme has a design of proudly powered by WordPress. And there's no button anywhere in the, in the dashboard that lets us turn that off. We will see later, though, that if we are not given the ability with a nice button, we always have the ability to edit the code. So if we have any experience with code, we can edit our site further than what we are allowed. But it's a little advanced, and we'll get to it a little later. 